Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the Structure Boxes plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to put schematics into chests and place them anywhere you want in the world, such as this. So in my inventory I have one, it's this mini house that I've created. So if we look for an open area such as this and right click, we are going to spawn it in front of us as easy and simple as that. However, if we go to a crowded area with loads of blocks, it will not work. It needs to be an open area with only flowers and grass and whatnot. So that's kind of how it works. It's a really cool plugin. But what we need is a world edit wand in order to create one of our own. So go ahead and build a structure such as this weird thing over here I've made. And what we're going to do, we're going to select the bottom left hand corner and the top right hand corner. We're going to go by the side of it and do 4 slash 4 slash copy. And then we're going to do 4 slash 4 slash schematic save and let's call it the name test. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and do the command 4 slash SB. That's the structure boxes command. And very simply, all we need to do is SB create and then whatever your schematic was called. So we called it test. That will give us the chest in the inventory and you can see it's got the name in the law. And if we go ahead and just right click it somewhere, you can see it has spawned. Obviously, the concrete will fall due to gravity but we can obviously change that if we want. We can even undo it, which we're going to look at in a second. But if we go ahead and just spam it over here, you can see how easy it is to make maybe a small town or just copy and paste loads of different structures. It makes it very straightforward and it's just a really neat plugin. So imagine you didn't want to place the last two. How are we going to fix that? Well, instead of destroying them by hand, you can do four slash SB undo and that is going to delete the last one you did. And you can obviously repeat the command to delete multiple in a row, which is really cool. So next, if we do 4 slash SB sessions, this is going to log the undo sessions and how long you have left before you're unable to undo structures anymore. And it gives a list of them. Then we can do 4 slash SB reload, which reloads anything you've changed in the config file. So here we are in the SMPintic control panel. And if we go into the config.yml, we can have a look and see what's in here. So up at the top, we've got the structure box item, which is, of course is a chest. I think that's pretty nice. You could obviously change something else like an ender chest. Then we've got the display name, which is in gold. That looks nice as well. Then we've got the max structure size. Obviously, the bigger you get, the more lag and the more intense it is for your server. So be careful. Don't set that too high. And the max session time. So the, the amount of time that you have to undo an item before you're unable to. The place cooldown time, so that obviously stops people from spamming it and overloading the server. We've then got the instruction message, um, and we've got whether you need to require permission for each different structure, yes or no. Then do you want to restrict it to regions, and then do you want the schematic ID to be linked to one of the strings here, so like merchantman or mm and if it can, it can be placed outside the regions. Then we have free space, so all of these blocks it's going to ignore, so it doesn't care if there's water, lava, grass, flowers, all of that sort of thing, so you could add more items to that if you wanted to. But that is pretty much everything in the config file. Then we have obviously the localization folder, and in here we've just got different languages, we've got English, Italian, and Norwegian, I assume. Uh, so that is pretty much everything in the plugin. It's relatively simple, but overall it's really fantastic. If we head over to the Spigot page, you can see it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft 1.15, and it was updated yesterday, in fact. And if you have any trouble, you can obviously come to the Spigot page and join the developers Discord, and I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. But that is the plugin. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.